What is up you guys, Nick here. In today's video, I wanna talk about NEO's cash positions, where this will take them in the short, medium, and long term, and whether or not they're gonna to have to perform any more share dilutions in the coming weeks, months, and years. As you are probably aware, share dilutions or equity raises have been a major topic within the EV industry at large, companies taking the opportunity to build up their war chests while they can. Companies are performing capital raises left, right, and center and that's an important concept to take note of. Management of these companies are seizing the moment. They're seeing the investor interest and the frenzy around the electric vehicle industry at large. Xpeng, Li Auto, Tesla, and now NIO have all raised cash through share dilutions in the past weeks. I'm gonna be discussing why this is happening, what this is doing to their share price, what a further dilution would mean for investors and resultingly their share price, and whether or not you should currently buy, sell, or hold NEO stock. We have a lot to get into, but first, Weevil is offering a promo for free stocks worth up to $3,700. All you have to do is sign up, open an account, and deposit in at least $100 using the link in my description. This is such a no-brainer. Weevil is honestly my favorite trading platform. They're 0% commissions. Uh, they have some of the best analytics in the game. This promo ends soon. Do not sleep on it. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. I do a ton of videos like this covering EV, tech, IPOs, and focus my investment strategy on innovative disruption. Decimate the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so most of you are probably aware that NEO performed a capital raise last week. They announced a completion of offering of 68 million American depository shares at a price of $39 USD per. The company has granted the underwriters a 30-day option to purchase an additional 10.2 million, of which they happily took. Shocker. This brings us to 78.2 million additional shares on the market. This is a massive quantity of cash straight into NEO's pockets. They raised approximately $3.049 billion from this capital raise. Investment bankers use a very scholarly, educated, and deep term to describe this amount of money that NEO has raised. They call it an absolute f ton. I'm not sure how many of you were investing in this company last year and early 2020, but I can tell you, I didn't think I'd see a day in 2020 where Neil was able to raise this much capital in this short of time. So much has changed for this company in just the past 12 months. It's truly incredible. This cash completely mitigates Neo's short-term problems. It really smooths out their bottom line and, you know, has them covered for the short and medium term. Neo is actually sitting on the biggest pile of cash in terms of the big three emerging electric vehicle companies based out of China, that being Li Auto, Xpeng, and NIO. After NIO's recent share dilution, they have around $6.3 billion. This is incredible. So why did they do this? They already had about $3 billion in cash. Uh, was this necessary? Well, like I've said before, NIO is digging the well before they need the water. There is so much promise and investor interest surrounding virtually any single company even remotely tied to the electric vehicle industry as a whole. The, the investor interest is in a frenzy right now. Let's take Tesla, for example. You may have heard that Tesla in recent days performed an equity raise. Is Tesla strapped for short-term cash? No. Are they strapped for medium-term cash? Well, no. Are they strapped even for long-term cash? No, not even close. Tesla has an incredibly large sum of cash and cash equivalents. They have an absolute war chest, which just keeps growing larger and larger and larger. However, their management saw the hype in the industry and took advantage of the opportunity. If a window of opportunity appears, don't pull down the shades. This is exactly what Tesla has done. They now have $19.5 billion cash position. This is incredible, almost 20 billion. Now NEO, after seeing the shares flying off the shelves for Xpeng, Li Auto, and Tesla, took advantage of this opportunity. However, it should be noted that in Q3, NEO management stated that they would not be performing any share dilutions in the short term. However, me personally, and this is just me, I do think statements coming out of management should be taken with a grain of salt. Uh, the market is moving, it's volatile, it's plastic. Companies need to change with the changing times and the sentiments within the markets. So I, for one, am not too concerned that they did slightly mislead investors. And at the end of the day, they did it for their business. They did it for their bottom line and their cash positions. And what's good for the business is in turn good for shareholders. 
If you followed my channel for some time now, I did indeed make a video stating that I thought a shared evolution was intimate, and I don't want to say I told you so, but you know, yeah, I, I told you so. It makes a ton of sense for management to perform the shared evolution now. It's akin to ripping off a band-aid all quick and fast, getting it over with, rather than slowly peeling it back and having it hurt. If you've analyzed the numbers even at all, and have a pulse, you would have known a shared evolution was coming. This is exactly what startup companies do. They saw all the other EV competitors doing it. Uh, this was going to happen. This was done when valuations were relatively high, which is good for the company and therefore good for us. You have to think about it in terms of would you rather be invested in a company that goes bankrupt because they didn't raise enough capital and didn't dilute their shares, or be invested in a company that does dilute their shares over time, which is bad for investors, but they don't go bankrupt. Now it is important to note that NEO did not have an intimate need for cash. They already had a phenomenal asset heavy current ratio of 2.42 and are just adding to this at every opportunity they can. The quantity of cash that is used if you are an electric vehicle startup manufacturing company based out of China using an outsourcing model is to use the investment banker term from earlier. Uh, yeah, f ton. Neo is aware of this and forming a moat, a barrier, a shield of armor around themselves. They are stating they are going to use this cash for one, research and development and new products and next generations of autonomous driving technologies. Forgetting about that run on sentence, this is basically stating that they are pushing further into the eventualities of L4 mind off driverless technology. There are sentiments around the possibilities of future robo taxis. That is a completely different video and I will be releasing that video and my thoughts around this and what it would mean for shareholders and their share price this week. So make sure you hit that subscribe. It's really interesting. You don't want to miss that one. They are also using this cash for two expansion, which in case you didn't know is going to be into Copenhagen, Denmark likely next year and three for general purposes basically keeping the ship afloat. So as I said before, NEO currently has around $6.3 billion after this cash equity raise. The other two promising EV startup companies, Xpeng and Li, have 5.1 billion and 4.5 billion respectively. All of these companies had really strong cash positions prior to the share offering. So that's something to keep in the back of your mind. Companies don't always perform these share dilutions because they need to. They sometimes perform them because they can. With the high valuations in the industry currently, management is aware that this won't always be the case, and it was a risk adverse time to do this share offering. If these valuations continue to surge leading into next year, I would expect another share dilution, maybe around Q3. I will have updates videos on this. That is so much speculation and very far out but just keep that in the back of your mind. With this additional share offering, NEO has diluted their shares around 7-ish percent, um, and this is to be expected. It's not the end of the world. However, it should be noted that there will likely almost guarantee be more share dilutions in the future. This is normal. This is what startup companies do, so don't be surprised, please. Now, how does this all play into their share price? Well, we are seeing a steady in share price after the quite sharp correction. This correction was a partial profit taking and virtually the entire industry indicating that, yeah, you know, these prices are amazing. Let's take advantage of this and dilute the shares while we can. The Band-Aid is ripped off and I for one don't think we'll be seeing another dilution anytime soon, you know, Q1 or Q2. Neo is already really padded out and has a nice war chest that they're building up and ready to use. There are virtually no short-term concerns and I do think leading into Neo Day, which is taking place January 9th, 2021, we will see a surging share price. I do indeed think that that last share dilution we saw is gonna be the last bit of negativity we are gonna see in the Neo share camp for quite some time now. There are really only huge positives coming for this company in the short term. This is gonna relate into a raising share price. Releasing on Neo Day is likely their newest sedan model that will likely be called the EE7. There are rumors of a minivan release, another SUV model, a 150 kilowatt hour battery cell pack. We will likely get more information into the European expansion plan slated for next year in Copenhagen, Denmark. And hopefully, this is hopefully and speculative, but we will get transparency into their eventual North American expansion. I think we will see a slight correction take place yet again after the Tesla hype and inclusion into the S&P. It's important to note that almost the entire EV industry mimics to some capacity Tesla. 
A correction in profit taking in the Tesla camp will likely drag down the EV industry at large. NIO is obviously included in this cohort. This may open up the perfect buying opportunity leading into NIO day. If we do see a correction take place within the next few trading periods, I for one will indeed be buying more shares as I always do on dips as I do think we have seen the last bit of negativity that we will see for a while. I'm quite confident we will see an upwards trajectory leading into NEO Day as well. This company now has cash and a lot of it and that is something I could not say last year and early 2020. They're in such a better position now and really the sky is the limit. Neo to the moon, baby. What up, long-term gang? Mark my words, a share price hovering in the mid-60s or pushing into the 70s leading into Neo Day is by no means out of the question. We have seen big jumps on this day previously, and I do think another is quite likely. Triple digits in 2021, fingers crossed, let's go. Anyways, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate the continued support. Do not forget about the Weeble promo for free stocks worth up to $3,700. This is actually incredible. Um, even if you get the worst stocks, you're still getting like a 20% ROI. Uh, pretty much a no-brainer in my point of view. All you have to do is one, sign up, two, open an account, and three, deposit in at least $100 using the link in my description. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate the continued support. Smash the like button if you haven't already. Hit the subscribe, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Happy trading. Take care and cheers.